straight from this front end on. Again, I have the chin strap. I'm going to take the back. That's probably the first thing I'll go for. Yeah, so again, I'll be looking to pull this arm forward so I can put my hand in front. Ah, it's, he can't stop me from moving. Start to work with spar drive. Um, of course, things aren't that simple. From my front headlock position, maybe I'm pulling this forward to control the space. The car is immediately pulling this arm back. There's no way then I can get on the back. That opens up the guillotine. Okay, so I can swim with the chin strap, coming up and make that connection. Um, again, we talked about once I make the grip, I need to secure it. Um, so from there, once I get my double chin strap, my elbow is coming high. And I get it in nice and deep. Once I get into here, I add out the guillotine, or possibly by going to the guillotine, and maybe he brings his hand forward to defend, and then the arm and guillotine. That's what I need here or here. So then we kind of want to be looking at. Where's his head? Just around. So I've either got the guillotine or the one arm guillotine, and his head is at my lat. I've looked at how to deal with that. So from there, his head's at my lat, I'm just going straight to the guillotine from our guard. So again, from here, I'm that. If I bring my elbow high, then I'm coming in nice and deep. So I want that connection. From there, I get my foot in the step when I put this up. Finish, first one side of the grip, bring my punch in. Arm and kill takes the same. Whether I just bring the I'm looking to see where his head is. It's under my, or connected to my lap. Up. We have that double chin strap, and then get these super deep. Excuse my hips, and I want to be sure that my butt, okay, my foot, connects to the set of my buttons come up. And this one, the elbow comes down to the initial version. Sometimes in the process, bring his head inside. Okay. If I've got the guillotine grip, Double chin strap, I'm not trying to get his head back out again. Just switch to my 10 finger gun. Or, that happens to be an arm and guillotine connection, where I'm here and here, and he brings his head inside. I'm going to start and then we're going to push it under, push this foot, and they bring my head underneath. Wipe it down, lay on the bottom. Okay. That's if I get in to the front head of the Again, from here, maybe Tara uh, makes grips. Uh, Ready to cover all this. So again, from that position, I make sure you come in underneath, get a big grip. And from there, I can push his head inside. And I'll stand up, get a bend in his neck, just sit through for a little bit of a moment. Wipe it down, put the anaconda. So if I haven't quite got the bag, put on the street. Finish. On the dogs. Last night's move. Position. Trying to find out from that position he makes the grip. Again, I make that connection, feeding through the untrapped arm, so I bring it all the way through, switch my grip, use that forearm, put it back to his neck, and can lock my doors, or I can just take it from here. Yeah, but getting his chin in his chest from the detail that we talked about, on the face, and I can just roll it over that shoulder. And just roll this shoulder. So, um, for those guys that have been here every class, you can just put it all together. Obviously, the guys that have missed, just drill what you can, what you can, what you can. Okay, so let's play around with that, guys.